Hello everybody, here we are once again with John Collins from South and City College, Birmingham. And all we're doing today is a quick demonstration on how to do an extension lead test using the new range of instruments board set by QTEC. Today we're going to be using the Easy Pack Plus. Now this is a battery as well as a dual voltage tester, so it will work off batteries, 110 volt or a 230 volt supply. However, we don't need that for today for doing this test. We can simply use it off its batteries. First thing we do then is turn the instrument on. So press and hold the power button for two seconds. To show you it's on, press the backlight. And on the screen here, you can see it doesn't say the word null, indicating that there's nothing been null in the instrument. For doing extension leads, the instrument comes with a little IC lead here for kind of not only nulling, but doing the test itself. Couldn't be easier. If you look at the top, we've got an IC port. So I get my IC lead and simply plug it in like so. No obvious uh, points here for guessing where this goes, so I simply plug that in. Let's just move that across like so. And what I've got to do is null it. There's the button marked null. Well, all you have to do is press and hold it for two seconds, and it will carry out a nulling sequence. So press and release. There's the resistance, 0 0.31 which is telling the resistance of not just the adapter lead, but also the internal circuitry. The screen went green, telling you that it's successfully carried out, and it displayed 0.00, .00 telling you that it's actually carried out the null correctly. The test itself then, to do a test on this extension lead, we've carried out to the OIT the pre-test uh, sequence of inspection, we carried out all the checks, so we're ready to do the test. It's as simple as plugging it in, and plugging it into the extension lead. So here we go, we plug it in, like so. And if you look at the keyboard display here, we've got class one, class two, and the one we're interested in is this one here for extension leads. So press the button, and it'll go into the test, the first one being the earth bond, the continuity. So does the test, and it's displaying 0 0.13, 0 0.13 ohms. And at the bottom there, it says table. And the reason for that is, code of practice says we're looking for passes really of 0 0.1 of an ohm. However, being an extension lead, there's nothing wrong with this. What it's saying there in the table is that, just like you've got in your QTEC quick user guide, is a breakdown of the resistance for the tables. This being 1.25 uh, millimetres squared. If we look down there at 10 metres, we're looking for approximately 0 0.15 of an ohm. The tester itself... If we have a look, it's actually displaying 0 0.13 of an ohm. So there you have it for accuracy. It's absolutely bang on, isn't it? No problem at all. Thing to note, though, if you was using the top of the range, SmartPath, that has built-in software which you can use with your app, and you can simply scroll down for the cross-sectional area and the length, and it would do the test and work it out for you automatically. But there you have it. To cancel the null, once we finish doing the testing, we simply break the circuit, so we've got nothing connected in, press the null, Keep it on for two seconds, it'll flash red, and null will disappear off the screen, and you've counted the null. It's as simple as that, folks. And there you have it. Just remember, Johnny Ace is on the